Hi, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to fetch a single employee record by using a get request. Let's begin. So let me close this employee class and also I'm going to minimize this Maven dependencies. And now inside the employee service, I'm going to create a new method. I'm going to declare a new method. This is going to return an employee object and I'm going to call this get single employee and we're going to pass the employee ID which is of type long and the employee ID and inside the service implementation class we're going to implement that method so we're going to make use of the employee repository to call the repository method employee repository we have a method called find by id and this is going to take the employee id as an argument we're going to pass the employee id so this is going to return an optional of employee so because we may get an employee object we may not get an employee object so for that this is going to return an optional of employee object So let me import the optional from the util package. So we are going to write a condition if the employee is present, is present. We are going to return the employee object. So return employee dot get. If the employee is not present, then we are going to throw an exception. Throw new runtime exception. I'm not going to get into the exceptions as of now. So I'm just going to throw the runtime exception. And we're going to pass a string which is employee is not found for the ID. We're going to concatenate the ID, the one we are looking for. Alright, now let's save this and inside our employee controller, we are going to call the service method. So we have this get mapping and this I'm going to re uh, remove this string and I'm going to change the return type to employee. So we're going to make use of the employee service to call the service method which is get a single employee and we're going to pass the ID. So now let's save this. Our application will restart. Let's switch to the postman. First of all, I'll go to the read employees and I'll click send. We have few records, the ID one, two, I not know, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's actually try to fetch the employee which is having the ID six, which is the employee name is test. So let me go to the read employee and I'll change the employee ID to six. And when I click on this send, we should get a single employee, which is having the ID six. So now let's try for employee ID 64, which is not even present in our database. Let's click on this send. We should get an exception that is runtime exception employee is not found for the id 64 all right so now we have completed the get mapping we, we are we are fetching the employee record from the database and in the next couple of videos we are going to complete the updating the employee record and the deleting the employee records i will see you in the next video